Hello, I'm Frederick Kennedy, doctor of chiropractic for over 30 years. During my 30 years of practice, I've noticed that nutrition plays a vital role in the healing of my patients. So we're here today to introduce Dr. Janet Bogues. Um, Dr. Bogues has a bachelor degree in nutrition mm -hmm. and a PhD in, in horticulture and food science. Now, Dr. Bogues is rare among scientists in that she has actually gone taking, bridged the gap between soil health and human health, mm -hmm. the entire spectrum. This is rare for scientists to do this. So today we're gonna to be cutting, discussing some cutting edge, vital information about getting more nutrition in our fruits and vegetables. So it's about going beyond organic to nutritious and delicious. Is that right, Dr. Bogues? Yes, absolutely. So I started my career as a nutritionist, and then I came to realize that there were these scientific studies showing we had lost a tremendous amount of our nutrient content from our foods. So it was like, no wonder people are getting sicker and having a harder time getting well because they just can't get the nutrition from the foods that they once did. So there was these scientific studies that showed we'd lost up to 70% of some nutrients in 70 years. And so now we're faced with a society here in the US where half of the people have chronic disease. And two thirds of people are obese, they're overweight. So they're getting too many calories, but actually not enough of the nutrients they need. So they're having problems with their health. And so as a nutritionist, I really wanted to change things. And I thought, well, we don't even have the quality food we once did and, and what we need. So I'm going to have to go back to the soil, start there to create health from the soil up by getting the plants to have the nutrition that they once did. Because that is a serious matter. Tell us about your research. So I went into my PhD and I looked all the way from what we did with the soil through the plant tissue and what happened with the plants and their nutrient content, but then all the way into human blood. Because what I've seen, we have preliminary data that shows how that how a plant is grown can actually affect the blood glucose of the human. Really? Yes. yes, so it's not just the nutrients, but it affects the systems and the workings of the body in various ways. My goodness. Now, I understand that you have written a beautiful book. Oh, thank you. Yes, it's called Beyond Organic, Growing for Maximum Nutrition and Flavor. And uh, so it introduces the Beyond Organic Growing System, which is B-O-G-S, which happens to be my name. <laughs> Put that together. And so I, I teach in there about how to grow foods for greater nutrition, what I call nutrition grown. And that is a trademark term. And so farmers that grow in this way can then brand their products and, and say, yes, mine's nutrition grown. It's got more nutrition than your average produce. Okay, Dr. Boats, please explain to us exactly what is beyond organic. That's a, that's a bold term, beyond organic. And what is nutrition growing? What exactly makes it so? Yes. So organic is great in the sense that the farmer is not using nasty chemicals, pesticides and herbicides and artificial fertilizers and things like that that damage the soil, the environment, our water, our air, and our bodies when we ingest all those toxic chemicals. So, you know, blessings on those organic farmers. But the problem is, is that people in general think that they're getting a lot more nutrition when they buy something that's organically grown, but that's not necessarily so at all. In fact, there's been hundreds of scientific studies that have looked at the differences in nutritional content between organic foods and those foods that are conventionally grown and really seen very little difference, something like maybe 8% on some nutrients and just really not much difference. That is shocking to realize. Yes, and so that's why I said I needed to go back to the soil and grow things up the right way. And now I've gotten this 
work that I've done and seen that it's not that difficult to double the nutrient density in these foods. So tell us exactly how beyond organic or nutrition grown foods are, are produced. So the very first thing you need to do is a good comprehensive soil analysis. And so I've developed the soil analysis that has 18 different minerals, plus the pH and, and a lot of other things. And I interpret it very specifically for getting more nutrition into the foods. I also look at the microbial balance in the soil and correct that because the microbes help the plants uptake the nutrients and utilize them properly. So then the other thing that we can do is the plant tissue analysis. So I take the leaf tissue and analyze that for the nutrients that the plant needs. So this, this is sort of like <clears throat> if your plants, you, you've got your soil prepared properly, or at least you hope so, and your plants are beginning to grow and thrive, but not quite like you want them to. Is this, is, this is an, an intermediate step that you can do to... That's right. That's okay. right. So especially when you're starting out, and it takes a while to get your soil just perfect. You can make great strides even in the first season, but it takes a while to get it balanced just perfectly. And so if you can do the plant tissue analysis and do then a foliar nutritional spray directly onto the plant, it takes it up through its leaves and can produce a very nice crop just even that first season. Hmm. Dr. Bogues, what about when you've got the banana, the broccoli, the carrot ready to eat? How, do you, how can I tell whether it's improved over what I was growing before I adopted the Beyond Organic Growing System? Well, that's a very important point. And that's where my research goes. And, and what I do for farmers and gardeners is I do test those final food products. So whether it's the beetroot or the lettuce leaf that you're going to eat and look at the nutrient content of those and then compare that to USDA values in the food nutrient databases. So we know how much difference there really is that in, in our methods of growing here. Now, I'm not a commercial farmer, but I do have a garden. And if I were a farm-to-market gardener or just how, is there any benefit to commercial growers? Absolutely, because whether you're a small grower or whether you're a large grower, it's basically the same thing. You've got to get the nutrients into that soil and into that plant to grow it the right way. And the farmers can have a marketing edge with this. I mean, you can be certified as a nutrition grown farmer. And there are farmers that have sold their produce for three to 10 times as much. Really? Yes, because they have better quality. I mean, mostly people are buying it because it's just so flavorful and, and um, it's just, it looks beautiful and it tastes wonderful. And then, yes, <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, it's just um, easier for people to sell something that is high quality like that. And just like organic products receive a premium in the marketplace, the same thing for nutrition grown. And it can be certified organic as well as nutrition grown. It, it's not exclusive at all. That sounds like good news. Now, I am an eater. What about us consumers, the people that actually eat the produce? What benefit of nutrition grown fruits and vegetables is there for us? Well, the thing is, is that you're going to be getting more nutrition from your fruits and vegetables, and you're going to be able to get it in a way that your body can utilize it properly. We were meant to get our nutrition from foods, not from like vitamin supplements. And if you take something like a calcium tablet, it can end up causing more problems than it's helping because it can cause calcification of the soft tissues in the body because it can't be used properly. Whereas that calcium that comes from a well-grown fruit or vegetable is going to be more properly utilized in your body. And there's been animal studies that have shown these differences in utilization that from foods that come from soils that were properly balanced versus those that weren't. So if I get my garden right, I may not have to take that dozen vitamin pills I take every morning? Well, that's one good benefit there, yes. And so, you know, taking care of your garden and, and getting good quality produce can save you in other ways and in your health in general. I mean, look at the cost of medical. Oh, my goodness, that's the biggest cause of bankruptcy 
that people have medical problems and then can lose their life savings trying to get well. So you really need to take care of yourself and get the nutrition because that's the basis of good health. As a, a home gardener, how can I learn how to do this? Well, besides my book, I am now offering a course. It's called Perfect Soil, Ultimate Food, Vibrant Health, and True Success. Or just for short, I call it the Perfect Soil course. And it includes 19 teaching videos. It includes my book. We're going to have live weekly calls, and you're going to get a comprehensive soil analysis done. You can also get a plant tissue analysis done and be able to do the foliar nutritional sprays I had spoken of earlier. Plus, we'll do the final food product analysis and compare that to USDA. And when you go through this program and you grow these foods, you really learn step by step how to do it with help from me and um, this group of other dedicated growers. And in the end, you can get a certificate that shows you've been through the program and really understand how to do this. And then you can even get a listing on my website as being a nutrition grown um, farmer or gardener that's got produce available for people and be able to have a way to sell your produce for good money. That sounds really awesome, Dr. Bucks. So it sounds like what you're doing is has the potential of really making a difference in this world that we live in. It's a, it seems that it's a, maybe perhaps a paradigm shift in our thinking and our mindset about food and about gardening and about farming. Is that true? Yes, that's what I'm hoping to do. I feel like it's my mission to actually bring about a new paradigm in agriculture to get away from all this chemical agriculture and show that there's a better way that we can grow better quality produce with less problems with pests and diseases in a natural way because those plants, when they're grown properly, aren't going to attract the insects to them and they aren't going to get sick. So it's just a beautiful system that I really am working to implement and looking for growers that are excited to be part of this. Oh, well, I'm excited. Thank you, Dr. Bogues, for being with us today. Thank you, Dr. Kennedy.